You're watching Ned the Dead and Doc Moreau. Check out their stuff at nedthedead.com. Welcome to Chiller Theater. Sorry, Ned the Dead. Doc Moreau. Featuring. Hey, Kidleys, it's Chiller Theater. How are you? I'm Ned the Dead. Dr. Moreau here. How are you doing, Doc? I'm fine. All right. Oh, look, you're very, very <laughs> happy. All right, tell us about the movie here, Doc. What do we got? Well, we got Bella Lugosi meeting up with them uh, East Side kids. Oh, the East Side kids. Boy, are they fun. Aren't and they? I, I want to say, if, if you're listening out there, Zig from Manitowoc, you were complaining last time that there was no Leo Gorsi lore. That's correct. He's the leader, Muggs of the East Side Kids. Leo Gorsi is? Yeah, really? Leo Gorsi. So we're going to talk a little about Leo Gorsi later. So hang on for that. Me? If somebody knows Zig, about him too? call him and see if he's, he's watching. That's right. All right, everybody. Wake him up. We're going to go watch Books Run Wild. You watch the first part, and then we'll come back and discuss. We will be uh, testing you at the end of the show to see how much you remember. So enjoy yourselves. <laughs> They might be underprivileged, but they sure ain't underdeveloped. I guess they got us, Marks. Take a couple of squad cars and these Dick Tracy bracelets. Hey, wait, 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 I'm disappointed. I thought we was going to reform school. I would have been a sophomore this year. Oh, kid. Yeah. Well, what do you want us to do with them? Pass up them in the bus. I'll fix them, cops. I'll go to the country and get sick and die and come back and haunt them. I don't care. Stop here for a few minutes, just long enough to pick up mail supplies. I hope you don't mind. Okay. I gotta check one of those back tires anyway. Take me about ten minutes. Good. Say, fellas, don't any of you wander away. Look around if you want to, but don't get far away from the bus, right? Brutally do. Come on, honey. Yes, sit down here. You know you're gonna be a nice. Oh, 
show. Just step back and forth. What are you talking about? Don't blow your top. What are you talking about? What was the bright idea of that? Oh, that? Just a little scientific curiosity, that's all. Law of gravitation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, can see we're all going to have lots of fun together in the next two weeks. Yeah, so can I. <laughs> That'll be good. I ain't got no sense of humor, that's all. Say, you fellas hang around here. I'm a little window shopping. Yeah. I don't like that guy's altitude. Me neither. If anybody thinks I'm going to stay up here and associate with him and all these cows and chickens, they're crazy. You know, I milked a cow once. Yeah. A very intricate affair. You see, a cow has four faucets. What for? Well, the first faucet is for buttermilk, the second for bottom milk, and the third is for evaporated milk. What's the fourth one for? Come to think of this cow only had three. Oh, that cow must have been contented. Oh, very contented. Are you contented? Oh, extremely so. That's fine. I don't get it. Hey, listen. You guys lay low, see? I think I got an angle. As soon as it gets dark... Make we'll... a break? That's right. Good. Hey, I'm thirsty. What do you have? I don't know. You got a menu? Uh -huh, certainly. I'll have some of that. That's the name of the town, silly. Oh, that's what I thought. Give me a root beer. All righty. And uh, what do you have? Uh, I'll have a, a demi tasse and a large cup of black coffee. A what? I'll have a root beer, too. And, uh, what'll you have? You. You're very fresh. Well, I hope your bread is just as fresh. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Got a date. How about tomorrow night? I've got a date. How about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night? I've, I've got, got a date. date. Well, that kills that week. Hey, what's your name? Margie. 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 Uh -huh. What a moniker. Margie and Muggsy. Hey, that's got a lot of them out of here. We're going to camp, you know. Yeah, we're underprivileged. We interrupt this program for an important announcement to listeners near Hillside and Colton. All citizens are warned to be on the lookout for the monster killer who is believed to be in this vicinity. This maniac has left the trail of three inhuman murders and is believed heading upstate. We return you now to your program. Monsters? They don't mean nothing to us. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Bring those monsters on. I ain't a scared of them. I'm anemic. I was taken for a ride once. You were? Yeah, there I was. Miles from Times Square, somewhere in Central Park, I think. And them gangsters, they had me backed against a tree. And I got a machine gun saying one. <laughs> hey, what do you think happened? I don't know what happened. He got killed. killed. Oh. Fantastic, wasn't it? Hey, there goes our bus. Mr. Bust, didn't he? Yeah. I've been looking for you, Jim. Oh, hello there, Mayor. What's on your mind? Did you hear that stuff on the radio about that monster coming this way? Yep, and that ain't all. I just got a telegram from the state police. You did, huh? They better come inside and talk it over. Jeff Dixon, if you don't stop pouting, I'll scream. I'm not pouting. Who? For no reason at all. That's no way to enjoy a vacation. Vacation? Are you kidding? With that bunch of gorillas, it'll be a nightmare. They're not gorillas. They're young and a little wild, maybe. Besides, you know perfectly well the campus boys who are denied the things you've had. Well, all right, so they need the outdoor life. But I was hoping for a nice, quiet summer at camp so I could study my thesis and be with you. Instead of that, it's going to be as quiet around here as the fun house at Coney Island. Well, some excitement would do us good. It's been a dull summer till now. Well, I like that. So now I'm dull. No, but lawyers aren't usually exciting. They're steady and, well, solid, like the Rock of Gibraltar. And just about as good company, I suppose. Well, you listen to me, Linda Mason. I may be studying to be a lawyer. And a good one, too. Yes, and a good one, too. <laughs> okay, you win. You're a good nurse, too. <laughs> hey, you know that guy that runs this place? It wouldn't be bad if it wasn't for his disposition. Hey, he ain't no good, but that girl that hangs around with him, she ain't bad. Hey, what's she supposed to be? According to a uniform, I guess she's a nurse. A nurse? Pardon me, well, I run a temperature. Well, anyhow, the shower's okay. I didn't need it. What? It was full of bugs. How do you mean? I heard that nurse said with her own mouth that the thing had vitamins in it. 
Man, it sure is dark in here. I'll say, I can't even see you. <laughs> I can't even see myself. Hey, what's that? It's an owl. I know it's an owl, but who's howling? That's an owl. It's got four legs and fleas. How can you read in the dark? Huh? How can you read in the dark? I went to night school. Hey, shut up, will you? Let a guy go to sleep. Hey, Muggs. What? I'm not scared or nothing like that, but... Remember what we heard about that, that guy on the radio? So? Well, suppose he was prowling around here. Don't you think we ought to stand guard or something? Nah, you just go out and set a couple of bear traps for him. Happy dreams, Slappy. This book is murder. Thirsting for the flow of bright red blood. At this moment... my friend. Evening. You are a resident here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Then perhaps you can tell me where the Billings estate is. The Billings estate? Why, it ain't been lived in for ten years. Not since old man Billings was murdered in his sleep. Interesting. But you were about to tell me where it was. Oh, sure. Sure. It's up there, on the top of Billings Mountain. I see. Is there a road to it? Yes, but... Uh... Thank you. Good night, my friend. I know you. I know who he is, too. He? The monster. He was here just a second ago, just now. The radio said he was coming and he's here. And you know who I am? Of course. I read about you in this book. You're Dr. Von Grosch, and you've come here to save us from him. Yes, I am Dr. Von Grosch. I knew it. I knew it right away. And the monster, did you know him at once also? Right from the start. Couldn't miss him with those glaring eyes and red lips. The dwarf, too, like a little black spider. And the trailer full of coffins. I was right in the middle of the book when they come in. Where have they gone? Said he was going to the empty Billings estate, on top of the hill. Yes, the solitude he needs. Tell me, this, this knowledge you possess, you've gained it all from that book? Oh, sure. You see, I'm kind of a student of... Uh, Black magic. Oh, say, I better tell the constable you're here. You need help? No, wait. We must proceed slowly, carefully. As you know, at night the monster is strong and the police would be helpless against him. I guess that's right. I know that's right. Perhaps... Perhaps you'd like to help me. Oh, sure, Dr. Von Grosch. Fine. Now, first, though you may speak of the monster's arrival, you must keep my presence a secret. That is of the utmost importance. You have a room, some place where we may converse? Oh, yeah. I've got a cottage. Uh, just take a few minutes to close up the station. There won't be any more business anyway. Fine, I'll wait here. 
You're watching Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Ever notice how some colas have more bubbles than you really need? We did. So we made Shasta Cola a little bit different, with just enough bubbles instead of too many. So Shasta tickles your tummy instead of your nose. And that's why so many people are drinking Shasta Cola already. Get Shasta Cola, the one with great cola taste and just enough bubbles to tickle your tummy. <laughs> I'm Bill Crago at Consolidated Electrodynamics Corporation for Clorets, the amazing breath remedy that stops bad breath in seconds. Consolidated engineers are testing the ability of Clorets ingredients to absorb bad breath odors. They're using Titralog odor detectors, the type developed for the Army Chemical Warfare Service. The first machine is being fed powerful onion odor element, and the second, the same odor element with Clorette's ingredients added. Watch the recording dial swinging into action. Now the first dial moves up 18 degrees, while the second, with Clorette's ingredients, moves only one degree. That's because Clorette's ingredients, chlorophyll and retsin, are absorbing the offensive odor element. You've seen how Clorette's really work. So, don't broadcast bad breath. Take Clorette's, the amazing breath remedy that stops bad breath in seconds. Clorette's mint sore gum. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. America, we depend a lot on our dairy farmers, don't you know? Every time you sit down at the dinner table, well, there's bound to be a few farm animals on your plate, so. But nothing beats a tall, cold glass of milk. Pigs, well, they're great for making bacon. But trust me, pig milk is nothing to write home about, eh? And good luck trying to get milk from a chicken, don't you know? Baby lambs, well, they're only good for sacrificing. Yeah, there's nothing like a good old dairy cow, and so sometimes I want to dive right in there like a calf and just go after that milky goodness straight from the udder, eh? But there's nobody who understands the dairy industry better than Lou Holstein. Fresh, pure, and energizing milk products. The story of milk and milk products is typical American because 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 it is a story of progress there you go Lou the dairy industry sure has come a long way since the time of pails and utter pulling eh well you know numerous cows filed sexual harassment suits and these days we have automatic milkers and so well, the cows, they sincerely appreciate that, let me tell you. We also have processes like homogenization and pasteurization. Sure, throw some extra growth hormone in there. The kids, they love it. Especially this kid. He's only 11 years old for crying outside. But it all goes back to how well the farmer takes care of his precious cows. Every morning and evening, George, just before they're milked. This is one way we help to make sure the milk is always pure and wholesome and good tasting, too. So, the next time you stop at the grocery store to pick up some butter, or sit down in front of a table covered in delicious cheese, or seductively lick an ice cream cone some stranger bought you, remember all the hard work that made your dairy products possible, eh? And finally, old Bossy the Cow. Truly the foster mother of the whole world. 
the most important producer in America today. Hey, we're back, everybody. Spooks run wild. Bella pulls into town with a trailer full of caskets. That's always funny stuff. And a dwarf. You know? I know. Well, now, Luigi. Are, are you allowed to, what is it? Luigi. Now, is, are you name. allowed, are we allowed to uh, call it a midget? Him a midget, do you think? It's a midget, dwarf. Midget, no. No? That's not something that we say I believe all? dwarf is okay, but little people is preferred. Well, no, I know. And I don't want to, I mean, to I don't. To get all PC The last you. thing I want to do is be <laughs> offensive here on Chiller Theater. I mean, that would be, don't, don't do that. That's offensive <laughs> to me, my big man. <laughs> don't be messing with, don't be calling oh. me Luigi. All right, so dwarf is acceptable, you're I saying. so. Well, just right. call him Luigi. But he's a really little one. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> unbelievable. he is. I mean, as far as dwarves go, that, that was. A tiny <laughs> dwarf. He is now. No, no, he is a super. Look at, like Logan. Now, no, keep going, keep going, oh. all the way, man, all the way on the, on your knees, Logan. You only have Gosh knows, I've seconds. said that a few times here at the old Chiller Theater. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we're job. whipping him when we bring out the whip. Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Shh. Wake up the whole camp. What's the matter with you guys? I don't feel so good. I'm got a linsomania. Why don't you put some liniment on it? I know where you're going. You got a date with our girl, Margie. So I got a date with Margie. So what? So we got a date, too, and we're going to keep it. You guys can't leave camp. You'll get in trouble. You've got to have a permit. You got one? I certainly. Let's see it. Hmm. There's some left in my smoking jacket. I quit surrounding me, will you? I'm going and I'm going alone. That makes three of us going alone. Sidewalks are free. Who ever heard of sidewalks in the woods? Didn't I tell you to be quiet? City of the dead. Do they too hear the howling of the frightened dogs? <laughs> no. Diana Billings. Winter came after eighteen short. Summers. She was beautiful. Hey, you! What are you doing here? These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Why didn't you put citronella on like we did? Citronella? I thought you said vanilla. I'm giving these guys a party. Hey, I wonder if we're heading in the right direction. Ah, you got nothing to worry about, pal. I got my compass with me. Well, which way are we going? So dark, I can't see the compass. Yeah, I'll give you a little light. That's a fine thing. Someone stole one of the hands off. Somebody stole one of their hands. You must have been a magician. A compass only has one hand. Well, why don't somebody loan me those things? Come on, let's get out of this shell hole. I wonder if this is a cow trail or the state highway. A nice place for a picnic. You run out of toothpicks, you can use pine needles. Why don't you look where you're going? What are you looking for? Remember what we heard on the radio about that, that ghoul, that guy that sucks all the blood out of you? What would he be doing out here, sucking the sap out of the trees? Hey, does the guy really suck the blood out of you? Yeah. Well, I got nothing to worry about, because the mosquitoes got all mine. Ow! That was a Messerschmitt. Hey, what if he really was out here? What if you was back home? Yeah? Your old man would give you a hit in the head like that. I ain't got an old man. The kid's an orphan. Oh, tripping, huh? You know, it's a five-yard penalty for that. 
Come on, let's move. Bob Wyatt, hold it. Okay, no bones oh. over here. Hey, hold it for me now, will you? Come on, Muggs. Yeah, hey, I'm holding it, I'm yeah. holding it. Come on, Slim. Hey, Doc! God. Hey, 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 what are you guys hey. doing here? Why aren't you back in camp? Oh, why don't you we stay in camp when you fellas go to town? Hey, get me out of here, will you? I can what see my hate with March. He's going to be about as private oh. as the Lancy Street fish market on Friday. You know, I'm starting to think we're lost. Yeah, we should have been in town a long time ago. I'd get back to camp if I knew the way. Ah, uh, quit drooling. You're getting me wet. Who wish you guys to follow me in the first place? Hey, a graveyard. We can't be far from town. Come on, let's cut across it. It may be a shortcut. And it's all the same to you, Muggs. I'd like to detour. Oh, come on, you chump. We'll be out of it in a minute. Uh, how long is a minute? That's too long, brother. After you catch me, I'll stop. Hey, there's a house. Where? Right up there on top of the hill. Cozy looking place, ain't it? We ain't looking for no rich car. We're looking for a place to get Pee-wee patched up. Come on, let's go. Hope there's somebody there. We want to get him to a doctor. Place is this anyway? I don't know, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Who is it? It's me. Listen, Schooner, the next time you come out of the dock, put a coat of whitewash on, will you? I'm so scared, I'm turning white now. Oh, I wish that guy'd hurry up. I'm getting tired. Ow! Good evening. I must apologize for the state of my home. It has been without occupants for many years. Oh, well, look, our buddy here's been hurt. We was walking through the cemetery taking a shortcut to town and somebody took a pot shot at him. How unfortunate. 
He should lie down. Don't you think we ought to get a doctor? Perhaps later. Come with me. calling a doctor. There's no telephone here. However, I have some knowledge of medicine. I will treat you, friend. I suggest you wait outside. Or better still, in my study. Thank you. Okay. Come on, fellas. Uh, see you later. Watching Ned the Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Here come the Whirlybirds, the biggest, most spectacular helicopters ever made. Big, you bet. Remco's giant Whirlybird is over two feet long, motorized to taxi anywhere. Fly them from battlefield to battlefield. Those powerful motor-driven Whirlybird engines have blades over a foot and a half in diameter. The Whirlybird swoops from the sky into daring rescue action. Down, down goes the motor-driven chain and hook. And up comes the tank on its rescue sling, saved from battle danger. And that's not all. Every giant Remco Whirlybird has a cargo hold and comes complete with an army of 25 troops, cannon, truck, jeep, and even a tank. Spectacular battles with daring rescues. Want to be the biggest hero in your neighborhood? Be the first to get the new Remco Giant Whirlybird, only $9.98. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. Stronger than dirt. New Ajax laundry detergent is stronger than dirt. Who says Ajax is stronger than dirt? The National Cotton Council wanted to know. So Ajax was tested. Result, no other leading detergent got clothes cleaner, whiter than Ajax with Ultramarine Plus. Now the National Cotton Council agrees. New Ajax laundry detergent is stronger than dirt. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Every day, Hugh Marriott wakes up to the same boring face, eats the same boring breakfast with his family, and goes to work at his boring job with his boring pain-in-the-butt boss. So how should he fight this terrible problem? Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. Easy down the street tries to drink her boredom away. Oh, one gulp at a time. Mr. Bartowski tries to spice up his life with loose women, but he's a dirty old man. <laughs> and Hugh, well, he's a family man. That's why I recommend Dr. Moreau's Three Steps to Fighting Boredom. Step one, a night out with the boys. Yeah, I know these guys are losers, but it gets better. Step two, a little boom chicka boom at the old bamboo room. It ain't cheating if there's no touching. And finally, step three, Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. They'll have you singing a song and skipping along in no time. Oh, well, what a 
rainy day. Never mind that cloud, behind that cloud you'll find a golden rain. All's well, laugh your fears away. See the light ahead, right ahead. There's a moon with light ahead. Everyone, come on, have fun. All's well. Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. John. Yes, Murray. John, what's happening to us? I think we both know, Mary. It's just that, that we don't have... Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. Exactly. There's this awful gap in our lives just because we don't have... Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. Oh, but why talk about it? It's just that... Oh, I keep hoping someone can find a way to... Don't be a fool, Mary. You know that's impossible. Oh, I know. It's just that... Dad, it's ironic. With all our technology and industrial know-how, we still don't have the one thing that could give us a better way of life. Dr. Moreau's Happy Pills. Available at Frank's Hardware. <laughs> It's up there. I don't know. I, it's it's hard to see. I think they shot some of this movie night for night. Oh, well, it, it's a little know. dark. Well, you get to the the cemetery. What I think I love is you can tell Logan covered himself up. <laughs> you get to the cemetery and the dude's out there digging at night. How often does that happen? I mean, how many guys with a gun? With his by trusty the way? shotgun. Yeah, with a gun. You gotta have a gun. Yeah. See, now if I'm out digging graves at night with my gun, somebody shows up with a dwarf, a really <laughs> little dwarf, by the way, and then I shoot him and they disappear. At that, I mean, disappear, not run away. They disappear. They, at that uh, moment, lap dissolve. Right at that, <laughs> lap dissolve. Is don't you have to pay extra for that? Pat, <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that's that. A, oh, hey, can hey. I get myself a? Hey, yeah. can I get you a lap uh, dissolve? That's an extra twenty. Sorry. Uh, half that's, and half. That's it's funny weird. stuff right there. That's good. That would be in a kind of a weird movie joint, kind of a movie dance club where you get a lap dissolve. That's, <laughs> that's nice right there. All right, yeah. everybody, go to the movie. <laughs> We've looked everywhere, not a sign of them. Did you look down by the lake? Yes, everywhere. Well, what are you going to do? Nothing. Well, Jeff, we've got to find them. They're city kids. If they're lost in the woods... I hope they are. Jeff Dixon, do you know what you're saying? I certainly do. Those kids have been nothing but trouble from the beginning. If they're lost, it's their own fault. So you're going to sit there all night? Oh. Hey, what are you going to do? If you're not man enough to go after them, I'll do it myself. But, but Linda... Hey, maybe she's serious. She's been reading Florence Nightingale. She'll be back when she gets tired. Hey, I don't like the looks of this place. Neither do I. Let's get out of here, huh? Hey, yeah, let's get out of here. Well, that Lee Pee we here, we gotta wait till he's docked it up. Hey, you think that bird up there's all right? What if he's a... Uh... What if he's what? I don't know, but I sure hope he hurries up. Me too. What's the matter? There's a skeleton in there. He was laughing right in my face. Yeah, what's he so happy about? A skull! Oh, good, good. Go on, look, look. Go on, look for yourself. Good, good. Uh, there ain't nothing in there. Do it. Go. Do it. Whoa. You picture that? I, I seen it with my own eyes. Do you feel all right, kid? I never felt better in my life. But, uh, just think we ought to get by, get out of here, huh? What about Pee Wee? Oh, we'll get, we'll go up and see what's my Pee Wee now, huh? Come we'll on. Go up there first. How's Pee Wee? Baby. Oh, your friend. He's resting well. Well, we want to see him. Um, I suggest you should not disturb him. Uh, we ain't gonna disturb him, we just wanna see him. Hey, hey, Pee Wee. He's dead. Not at all. He's merely asleep. Yeah? What'd you do, give him a Mickey or something? No, your friend was in pain, and I found it necessary to give him a mild sedative. You see, I have given him the proper treatment. Well, how are we gonna get out of here with him like that? Or leaving is out of the question. 
Your friend must not be moved. But we gotta get back to camp. Yeah, I'm hungry. Vitamins or no vitamins. Oh, he's talking about food. We can't leave Pee-wee here alone. That will not be necessary. My home is not equipped for visitors, but Luigi prepared rooms for you. You will be my guest for the night. Come, I show you to your rooms. That's fine, but one of us is staying here. Hey, Scruto, you keep Pee-wee company. Hurry. Who, 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 me? Yeah, you. We'll take turns. I'll relieve you later. Okay, Mr. Uh... You will notice uh, this is a very old house. In some respect, a very strange one. You ain't kidding. The maid service in this hotel is terrible. <laughs> Hey, Glippy, you and Skinny take that room. Just me and Skinny? What do you want, a nurse? Don't forget to call me every half hour, huh? Yeah, I'll tell the operator. A very charming room in a repulsive sort of way. Hey, this looks like one of those beds George Washington slept in. <laughs> well, it's about time to change the sheets. Let's get some light on this subject, huh? I understand this room was occupied by the late owner of this house at the time of his death. I hope this knowledge will not disturb your sleep. Luigi has placed a candle somewhere, I'm sure. Good night. Say, uh, maybe you better lend us your candle. Yeah, come Good on. Good night. Oh, you know your way around here better than us. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, go ahead. No, I'll follow you. We'll both go together. Okay. See, uh, maybe I better get a flashlight, huh? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go together. Yeah, yeah, you said that once. You know something? I like this room much better than the dark. And I don't like the dark. Get a load of this joint, will you? Is this murder? No wonder the guy died. Forgive me if I startled you. You would perhaps like this candle. Good night. Good This thing's gone far enough. What thing? You know doggone well what thing. You seen Lem Harvey? Yes. But well, why haven't you gone up the hill and arrested that fella? Well, Mayor, you can't go around arresting folks until you know for sure. You gotta have proof. Proof? You know that monster was headed this way. Radio said so. The state police wired you. Lem Harvey saw him with a trailer full of coffins. A crazy killer running around loose butchering women and children. What kind of proof do you want? Some little girl murdered out in the woods? I tell you, Jim, you gotta do something. Well, take it easy, Mayor. I'm doing all I legally can. I've sworn in a lot of deputies, and I'm going to have every inch of road within 20 miles of this village patrolled every hour of the day. All right, Jim, but it's your responsibility. You've been elected to protect the women and children of this community, and it's up to you to do it. And don't forget, we've got that boys' camp on our hands, too. Why don't you lay down, Muggs, and try to get some sleep? Yeah, I don't feel like sleeping. You know, there's something funny about that bird. Besides, I'm worried about Pee-wee. Yeah, I know it. So am I. Well, let's go see him. Okay. We'll all reach. Let's go. Hello. What's the matter with you? We come sleep in our room. It ain't cheerful like this one. And hey, where are you going? We're going to see Pee-wee. Hey, that's a good idea. Come on. Who 
Who's that? Yeah. Who is us? Us is me. What's the matter with you, Scuno? Ain't nothing the matter with me is him. He been like that all the time? Man, he ain't moved a muscle. I think he's dead. Hey, Pee Wee. Hey, Pee Wee. That clinches it. Now we're gonna get tough. We're going downstairs and have a showdown. You fellas come with me, Scuno. You watch Pee Wee. If anybody comes up here, you let out a holler. Listen, Muggs, you got the wrong man for this job. I, I, I'm better in the crowd. Look, you heard him, didn't you? Let's go. Yeah, and keep your eyes open. You don't think I'm gonna stay in here for one minute and close them, do you? Pee Wee. Pee Wee. You ain't dead, is you? Say you ain't. If you can't say nothing, just shake your head. You're watching Ned the Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. Look, here is the new Band-Aid plastic strip with new Super Stick. It sticks better than any other bandage. The proof? Take a dry egg at room temperature. Touch the egg with any other bandage. Brand X, brand Y, brand Z. Not one sticks. But a Band-Aid plastic strip with new Super Stick sticks tight instantly. Watch it again in slow motion. No pressure, yet we can lift the egg, even boil it. And the Band-Aid plastic strip never comes loose. Maybe you don't want to boil eggs this way, but you do want the extra protection of Band-Aid plastic strips. They take better care of little cuts and scratches. They stay put. Yes, even in hot, soapy dishwater. Neat, flesh-colored, almost invisible. Band-Aid plastic strips with new Super Stick stick better than any other bandage. Made only by Johnson & Johnson, the most trusted name in surgical dressings. Be sure you get Band-Aid plastic strips. Here's the hungriest cowboy on the range, all set to dig right in southwestern style. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's fun to eat in the great outdoors. But here's how to get that hearty husky chow right at home. Austex Beef Stew. Look at them go. Here's real solid eating, southwestern style. Austex Beef Stew. Tender, lean beef chunks blended in rich brown gravy with potatoes and carrots. So delicious, so low in price. Austex Beef Stew to keep your men going strong. Keep your men going strong, fill those wide open spaces, watch the chow line get long, and look at those happy faces. Husky, heartiest in the land. Austex! Austex! That's my brand. Make it yours. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Chicken, chicken, sea bass here. That's Big C, Big B, Little Ass. Tonight, I'm going to teach you how to keep your job. Now, we begin work here at 8.30. That's the time to begin this business of keeping a job. And that's the time Bob Anderson began work every day. We could depend on him to be on time and to do his work on time. You might call him an eager beaver. <laughs> He said beaver. Well, wouldn't you like to have Bob working for you? Will he fold under questioning? Some of the work in our shipping room is hard work. Zip codes. That's why we've always had two fellows working there. Pick it up, you Sally. Well, two fellows who are supposed to be working. Dude's looking for another job. The other fellow I want to tell you about is Walter, Bob's brother. Bob's twin brother. Dead ringers. Holy but crap! But the resemblance is only skin deep. Look at Walter from the employer's point of view, and you see how not to keep a job. If you get caught! Cooperation is another way to keep a job. Dude, get off your ass! Yeah, bite me! Walter finally decides to go to work, just before closing time. That's how we roll in GB! You'll find Bob getting the shipping room ready for the night. Make it look pretty! Chucklehead! And you'll find Walter getting himself ready. Pretty! So he won't be a second late punching the clock. Time to get out of here and meet Betty Sue. 
I wonder what she meant last night. Ring my doorbell. Smell you later. One day, not long after, Walter was taking advantage of a lull in the work, and Bob was bringing the shipping records up to date when... In came a dude with two boxes. What you got there? Shipment for you. <laughs> Wise guy. Well, finally. The stuff they've been running in here asking about every hour for the last three days. Sign here. That's the way it is in this company. They wait till they've run out of something. Heavy pills. Everybody runs around like crazy. No system. Heavy pills. And nobody in charge with enough brains to start one. Heavy pills. What a way to run a business. Welcome to corporate America, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to survive in today's market, do like the dude. The dude abides. Isn't that what makes a man? Mm, sure, that in a pair of testicles. Well, there's a saying, if the shoe fits. Oh, the shoe fits, all right. What's going on, oh, Doc? Let me give you some dope Please. on Leo Gorsi. Please, give me the dope on Leo. Okay. He was in various movie series. He was in The Dead End Kids, which mm -hmm. preceded this series. Right, yeah, sure. This did. is The Should East Side Kids. Right. And he was in The Bowery Boys. Oh, yeah. They're all, and, all uh, fun, he like made, this movie. He made a lot of movies. He made a lot of movies. You know, did you know that his first wife divorced him and married Groucho Marx? And yet, You're an amazing Leo... Man became one of Groucho's best friends. I want to talk about the really little dwarf. Luigi. I want to talk about Luigi. There's a great scene. Everybody's walking around with these giant, these kettle holders with the big long candles set up. You know what I'm saying? They cut to Luigi. He's got a kettle holder with a stub of a candle in it about that thing. That's good like, stuff. Oh, that, that's, see, I can watch this whole movie, and that's going to be the one part that I'll remember for the last month, or the yeah. next month, is poor little Luigi walking with a tiny stub of a candle. It's bad. It's bad. If he carries another candle, look out, man. It's terrible. Nobody in here. Let's look somewhere else. Eh, let's go in. We open the door, will you? Come on, come on, stop playing, will you? Come on, hey. Hey, open this door, I want to get out of here. Is Linda shown up? Not yet. When she does, tell her I've gone to town to see the constable. We'll probably need a searching party. Okay. That clinches it. That guy's a monster. We're getting Pee Wee and leaving here. Hey, maybe he's done something to him. Maybe Pee Wee will be like he is. I don't know about that, but we'll leave him before we find out. Hey, do you think that guy's dead like it says? What's the matter with you? Can't you read? It says here that in the night he prowls about seeking new victims. And in the daytime he sleeps in a coffin. Well, let's wait till daytime, huh? We ain't waiting for nothing. We're going right now. Remind me not to come back here on my vacation. I'll put it in my blue book. Leave the house. Hey, open the door. I can't. The door is locked. Well, where's the key? I don't know. I ain't got it. All right, stand aside. We'll bust it down. Go ahead, Glimp. Bust it down. I ain't no Superman. You bust it down. You break it down. Why should I break it down? Break it down. Oh, come on, boys. Why do you bust the door? Then I got a bump shoulder. Oh, Go you've ahead. been reading Tony Flash Gardens. I don't want to do that. Somebody's got to open it. Oh, I'm not doing it. That's the way. <laughs> Well, what took you so long to open it? You didn't open the door. It opened by itself. Sit down. You'll be all right. Hey, where's Pee Wee? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? What do you do, just get up and walk out? 
That's exactly what I don't mean. Nothing else but. He got up out of that bed, walked out of this room, didn't even look at me or say a word. That's funny. Say, look here, y'all know one thing? I believe Pee Wee done been turned into a zombie. A zombie? What do you mean? You should have seen that glassy stare in his eyes and the way he didn't listen when I was talking to him. Now, you know what I mean? Zombie and no zombie, we're gonna find Pee Wee and get him out of the spider's paradise, see? Now the first thing we do is... Where is your friend? That's what we want to know. What'd you do to him? I? I did nothing. In his condition, he should not be moved. Well, we're gonna find him and bring him back to camp. No, no, I insist that you stay. You see, you're weary. And you see things not as they are, but as your imagination paints them for you. I suggest that you all retire and that Luigi and myself look for your friend. He cannot have gone for her. Oh, well, maybe you're right. I think I got hallucinations, huh? Yeah, I guess I've been painting pictures, huh? Well, what do you say, fellas? We all get a good night's sleep and talk about it at the breakfast, huh? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Horror Man. Hey, I wanted to call up. Call up, I'm not giving you guys a little bit of 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 a little bit Go ahead, Schooner, look in there. No, 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 I, I ain't gonna look in there. Ah, oh, you're yellow. If I'm yellow, use carbine. What are you scared about? I'll be right behind you. Go ahead. That's long enough. There's nothing in there. Stay close, will you, Mike? I am. I am. There you go, match, bud. Say, so what was that? Maybe someone's trying to break the leaves, huh? Hey, we ought to have a candle. Yeah, I'll go get one. You two guys stay right here. I'll be back. Hey, Grumpy said to wait. I know what he said, but something tells me to keep moving. Nothing in there, there's nothing in there. No, nothing in there. Hey, Pee Wee. Say, you reckon he gonna be in there? I don't know, maybe. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go in there, you know what he said. Don't go in there, just wait for him. Well, I just take a look and see. Hey, Skinny. Skinny. Stop kidding. Did you in there? There ain't nobody in there. He's gone. Oh, let me get out of here. Oh, it's you, Grandpa. Where's Skinny? I don't know, he done disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? Well, he went in that box and he's gone. Box where? Show come me. on, I'll show you, come on. In there. Skinny! Hey, Skinny! 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 I'll go see. You stay right here, don't move. Hey, Glimpy. Glimpy? Is you in there? You is, ain't you? Come on now, we ain't got all night. They both is gone. Oh, Muggsy! Muggs! Muggsy, come on up here and help me. Come, Muggs. Oh, oh I want to get out of here. Muggs! Hey, he's coming. Say, Muggsy? Muggsy? Skinny and, and Limpy went in that box, and they gone. I went in and looked, but I don't see them in there. I, oh, Muggs, I want to get out of here. I don't like this place. This place ain't...
You're watching Ned the Dad's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. All right, now, how does a train go? <laughs> now, an ocean liner? Now, then, how does your tricycle sound? I see. But how would you like your tricycle to sound? Well, you can make it roar with Mattel's terrific new Barum hot rudder engine. Put it on a trike like this, or like this. You get your own special key. Start it like Dad's key starts his car. The remote control is up here where it belongs. It sounds like a real engine. Put it on a bike or almost anything that moves. Mattel's new Barum hot rudder engine. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. The Remco Movie Land Drive-In Theater is straight ahead. There it is now, Betty. Today's double feature. Have Gun Will Travel and Heckle and Jekyll. It looks terrific, Jimmy. Drive right in and park. Let me show you how it works. Switch on the projector, turn the fill knob, and you'll see six exciting still features. Have Gun Will Travel and Heckle and Jekyll. Captain Kangaroo and Dinky Duck. Mighty Mouse and Farmer Alfalfa. Golly, what clear big pictures. This Remco Movie Land Driving Theater has everything. Six complete features. Its own giant screen, projection booth, marquee that changes, ticket window, and six beautiful cars. Be the first in your neighborhood to own and operate a Remco Movie Land Driving Theater. Only $5.98 at your favorite toy store. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy. And so do girls. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. Connorson's flights prove that much of the staging area had been completely destroyed. Every time you turn on the TV the these the days, it's the more bad news from around the world. The incident last summer, when the U.S. replied just as swiftly to North Vietnam PT boat attacks. Yes, times they are troubling, but you're nice and safe here in Pulaski. Uh oh, the sirens! It must be a nuclear attack. Don't panic. This is a time to remain calm. Ugh, just a false alarm. But what if there really was an attack? Would you know what to do? It's impossible to look into our future to see what lies ahead. The only thing we can do is be prepared. Suppose you hear that alarm again. There are some things you should know if you don't want to become a freakish atomic zombie. Oh, jeez. Despite your mildew problem, the basement will make a solid shelter. Stay inside your shelter until you're told it's safe to leave. Looks like you're going to be here for the long haul. Hope you packed enough stuff. problem with 14 days of food is that it runs out in about two weeks. <laughs> food you find outside will be contaminated. If you eat it, prepare to die. And the water supply will be poison, so you must boil and drink your own urine. Mmm, yummy. The same goes for the furry critters left behind after the blast. If you do find a dead animal, dispose of it using a paper bag and a properly marked barrel. You should also protect your farm animals. Unless you are very lonely, you should probably keep Bessie in the barn. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Just leave her lots of hay. But above all, the most important thing...
All right, they wrapped up little Luigi, and you know, I mean, I've done some dwarf wrapping before. This, he's little. He is a very little dwarf. Did you know that? He's like at the two feet level there. Well, when I they pick he's... him up and they fling him around, oh, look, here, Logan. What is this now? Oh, Where's it's a little that? candle. Oh, he's tiny candle. It's Luigi's and it's smaller than that, Stubby. Go ahead, it's smaller. There you go. Yeah, nice try. Right there, yeah. Barely visible, my friend. That's, oh, it, once again, Logan, this is all it bad. It takes a lot let's, of courage to present right, such a yeah, stunted right. Let's not candle. go back to that shot again, if you know what I mean, if you don't mind. Wow. Because that was, uh, that's his, oh, oh, that's right. What the? We're off the air. Logan put us off the air. Hey. Put us off the air for a minute there. Josh. Hit me here. This is who Leo Gorsi reminds me of. Who's that? Pacey from Dawson's Creek. Why are the you, eyes, you why just, is it a black and white with blue he's, eyes? He's got blue eyes, and, and this is color TV. You just put a Yogi Bear hat on him, and you got Leo Gorsi. Wow. Don't you? Wow. Yeah. Go back to John. <laughs> I wonder where this goes. Attic, I guess. Let's see. I'm in such a hurry. Have you seen any of our boys around town? No, I haven't. Why? Six of them missing, and I thought they might have come in for the bright lights. That isn't all. Linda went out to search for them, and she hasn't shown up. You say six? That's right. Well, it sounds like Joe here might have taken a shot at them tonight. Hit one, too, maybe. What do you mean, took a shot at them? Well, I can't take them over the bearing ground. Can't have anybody prowling around dead night, you Yes, know. but why shoot at a bunch of harmless kids? Oh, they only used buckshot, Jeff. Couldn't have hurt anyone bad. Well, where'd they go? Where are they now? Uh, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Jeff. I want you to take it easy, like. Well, come on, come on, what is it? Well, you remember hearing about that monster murderer on the radio? Yeah. Well, we got reason to believe that he's hiding out in the old Billings house near your camp. Joe here thinks he saw the lads heading for the house. Wait a minute, where are you going, Jeff? I just told you, my girl's out there in the woods. Oh, but you're not going out there alone. I'll call in some of the boys and we'll go with you. That's a dangerous maniac out there. Hey, Hank. Look. Corvins. Just like the book said. Oh. Go ahead, open it. Oh, you open it. Maybe it ain't supposed to be open till Christmas. Go ahead, open it. Take the other end. Okay. It's locked. Are we lucky? Maybe we better try the other one, huh? Oh, I'm sure they're locked too. What's the future of locking coffins? Maybe we better go back downstairs. I don't think Pee Wee's up here. I don't think so. Yeah. Would you up here? Some would have. Hey, ain't that Pee Wee? Yeah! Well, let's get him! That's funny. No. Hey, Muggs! Look out, the monster! Quick, stop! Clemper, you sure scared the heck out of us. What did they do, make you nervous? Where did you come from? That's what I'm trying to find out. Where's Muggsy? Oh, he's right around here. Muggs? Muggsy? Muggs? Muggsy? Hey, Muggs! I didn't like those the kids. I didn't see him go out, did you? No. Let's take a look. Hey, ain't no joke no more. Hey! Hey, what's the matter with you? Wait a minute. Is that you, Muggs? I can't breathe. Hey, Danny! I'll bat you right in the head for this. Let me out of here. Come on, open it up. It's locked. Just a minute, we'll break it open. Oh my God, you want to get water on the brain? Oh, open it. Oh, oh, here. Yeah. Get the side of it. There. Hey, Muggs, you're lucky. We was just going to leave. I, I couldn't get out. I must have got stuck. Hey, was that you in that hope chest? 
Don't excite yourself, Muggs. You've been through an experience. An experience? I've been through a catastrophe. And that's a beautiful way. Now listen, we saw Pee-wee come in here and he must be around. See, the quicker we find him, the quicker we can take a powder. Now let's make a search. What are you going to be doing? I'm going to relax, like you said. I'm going to take it easy. Oh, dictator! Dark in here. I wonder if I can find some matches in this place. Oh, it's a match. Oh. <sighs> well, I ain't scared now. Some folks might be, but I ain't. This sure is a nice, cozy room. That's what it is. Nice and cozy. Some mighty nice folks must used to live here. Can tell by this furniture. Hm, that's what my mammy said. I wish I was with her right now, too. But this show is a nice room. Yes, it is. Sure is a... <laughs> what? A white spider? That must be the ghost of the Black Widow. Get out of here. Scat. No, get out. Get away. Get away. Now look here, tobacco can. Don't bother me. I don't smoke, so don't, I ain't bothering you. That's all right. Please, Mr. Spider, come back and wear me a ladder so I can get out of here right now. Ah! I'm getting out of here now. I want to get out of here. Where did you go? I'll tell you later. Let's catch him. Hey, where'd he go? Come on, I got him. Come on out of there. Let go. Come on out of there. Let go of there. No, what? What is this? Well, now we got him. What are we going to do with him? I don't know. Now, I wish we had a mouse trap or something. Hey, let's put him in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Throw him in there. Hey, listen to that. Hey, Spoon, now look. Ah! Ah! This place is going to give me a nervous breakdown, I'll bet. Yeah, well, if it doesn't, I will. Hey, look at his sconch. It's just a beauty. Hey, don't. But slide will be loaded. Ah, uh, you can look. It's full of cobwebs. Even the trigger's rusty. Yeah? How oh, do you like that? Pikey! And I haven't got my hook with you. So what? Uh, they're out of season. There's no wearing them, Mike. You're watching Ned the Dead's Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. It's all yours. Wow, look at that. Hey, what about me? Try this one, partner. Looks like real. Sounds like real. They sure do. The sound of power military rifle. And western rifle. By Marks. Each gun makes lots of battle sounds. Just press the trigger and listen. Sounds like a gun battle over there. Hey, is it real? Looks like real. Hey, it sounds like real. Right. Every shot, every battle sound was from the sound of power, military, and western rifles by Marks. 
Uh, hi there. I'm a cool pop. This is how you buy me at the grocery store. Of course, a cool pop's no fun to eat like this. But zap me into the freezer, and then little by little, I freeze into a squeezy sack of frosty cold frozen fun. Freezing, squeezing, sacks of deliciousness. That's what a cool pop is. Freeze one today. Welcome back to Chiller Theater. From the orange groves of Florida to the Big Apple. No one is safe from the Probing Saucers. Jump in your car and go see this movie. It wasn't a prostate exam, and it wasn't a dream. Discover the probing saucers for yourself, but watch your back. From executive producer Al Gore, who brought you the inconvenient truth, comes another inconvenient truth. companions on the quest to block the probing saucers one more thing huh. one more thing uh. 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 if i could just uh. interject uh. Uh. The, uh, the black kid and the east side kids mm. i love them a lot uh. Uh, this is ernest morrison uh -huh. and his stage name was sunshine sammy morrison he was the first black child movie star and he, an original member of our gang. And he became a millionaire in the movie business. So shout out. Certainly we're not about to. <laughs> so yeah, we gave him a shout out for that because he did in fact enjoy and actually made millions off the movie business. Good on him. Where you and I, uh, you and I probably won't. You, no. know, what I'm, you know what no. I'm saying? What do you think? Think Down. about that. Oh, oh no. You know what? The glasses fell. We both leave. That's always good on TV. Well, when both the holes split at the same time. You know, that's not, what is outcome that? is doubtful. <laughs> yeah, right. I, he gets on the, the movie career. Red eight ball. Yeah. All right, go back to Spooks Run Wild and Actually, enjoy Actually, it's a uh, six ball. Hey, Mux, wake up. How do you snapping your fingers like that for? You woke me up. Didn't you hear the gun go off? Gun? I told you to find Pee Wee, not shoot him. We didn't even get to see him. It's a fine thing. See, well, if you want something done around here, you gotta do it yourself. Hiya, pal. I don't see it. I don't see that. Still coming. <laughs> go away, Mr. Tin Man. Now go away. We ain't bothering you. You 
you were the young lady from the camp? Why, yes. There's a mad killer in the Billings house. And your boys, the boys who are missing from your camp, are there and in his power. No. I'm going to their rescue now. Then I'm going with you. You will follow my orders to the letter? Of course. Good girl. Come. So when this thing almost fell on me out in the hall, I got the idea to put it on. Not bad, huh? That's it. A mighty frosting. See, look here, Mugwood. Don't you do that no more. Don't do that. Why not? Man, you like to scare us to death. I'm going up and get Danny and mm -hmm. you guys wait down here. I got something to talk over with you. And if Pee-wee comes in, you hold him. Hold All right, him. we got it. Pee-wee! Man, don't Murphy look funny in them aluminum pajamas, though. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is too much. I... Say, what, you back so soon? Say, I thought you were to look for the other guys. Yeah, that's so, right. Are you trying to mix us up? What is this anyway? Yeah, it's two of them. Okay, okay, I give up. I give up. Pee-wee. Hey, Pee-wee. Hey, Pee-wee. It, didn't I? Very funny, very funny. You didn't fool me for one minute. What's the idea of playing games? What are you doing wearing that suit? Oh, my teller told me to wear like iron. Now you gotta wrap this hook iron around your neck. Come on, let's get out of these animated sardine cans and find Pee Wee. Hey, Scrooge. Huh? Got a can opener? No, but I got a pocket knife. Danny and Pee Wee are missing. It's up to us to find them or we'll all be missing. I wish I was missing right now. Let's go down to the cemetery and talk this thing over where nobody can hear us. Look at here, Muggs. Do we have to go out there? Why not? Well, I just don't do my best figuring in them that graveyards. Aw, oh, come on. What was that? Ah, just your imagination. Look here, Olympic. If anything happens to me, you notify my mammy, won't you? Sure, sure. If something happens to you, who will I notify first? Just notify me first and nothing will happen. I was sharing a room with a skeleton. A real live skeleton? Did you ever see a real live skeleton? No, sir. And if I never do, that'll be too soon. Now, if we can find Pee Wee, everything's going to be all right. That's how I got in the room with him. I was following Pee Wee, and he went in a secret passage. A secret passage? Where? Right down here in the cellar. I tried to find a spring to it, but I couldn't. Hey, maybe if we all tried. Come on, I'll show you. A roommate, Mr. Bones. Boy, ain't he skinny. <laughs> Come on. How do you like that? It's open now. Pee Wee must have come back. Hey, this looks like the place where the plot begins to thicken. Let's take a look and make sure. Come on. You're watching Chiller Theater. We'll be right back. What are you looking at? You? I like the way you look. You like the way Jane Hutley looks, too. You think she's gorgeous? Yeah, but... You look better. You look healthy. That's it. Your skin looks healthy. Clean and sunny and natural. Know why my skin looks healthy? Why? Because I've gotten back to basics. Sunshine, fresh air, healthy foods, and plenty of soap and water. 
I use ivory. Every day. Ivory? Sure. Ivory's basic. It fits in with a natural, healthy life. Ivory's natural soap. Simple, basic soap. No heavy perfumes, creams, or deodorants. When you think about it, regular washing with ivory goes naturally with healthy-looking skin. You look great. I look healthy. Not gorgeous like Jane Huntley, but healthy. Get back to basics with ivory, the natural soap for healthy-looking skin. This is the yardstick. Sooner or later, almost every toothpaste gets around to comparing itself to Crest. So how does your toothpaste measure up? Does it have Crest's special fluoride formula, Floristan? Is it accepted by the American Dental Association? Crest is all these things. Maybe that's why it's America's leading toothpaste. So have checkups, watch treats, and brush after eating with Crest, the yardstick. Welcome back to Chillin' Theater. Hello, Eileen. This is Jean. I just had a letter from my brother, and guess what? He's bringing his roommate home from college. Baby, I want you to party with me. Mother said we can have a party for him, so I was wondering if you could come over tonight and help me plan it. Yes, Nora's coming, too. This is one party that just has to turn out right. The main idea is to introduce Steve to the game and show him a wonderful time. <laughs> and show everyone a nice time. Now listen, this is what we have to plan. A guest list, invitations, refreshments, and entertainment. There'll be the three of us on our dates, and I suppose we could have an extra couple and two extra girls for Jim and Steve. <laughs> now who do you think, Nora? Well, let's have Alice and Ted come. They're nice, and they're usually in our gang. Margie's lots of fun. The fellows would like her. Oh! Well, that's our guest list. Now, invitations. Should we write? Why bother to write? This is just an informal party. Let's just phone everyone. Sure. Good, we'll phone tomorrow. <laughs> Next business, refreshments. Yeah. We have to feed the men. Yeah! <laughs> And the girls, too, especially you. Gee, <laughs> thanks. Does it show? <laughs> no, we want something to eat and... Something to drink. Refreshment. How about hot chocolate and sandwiches? I'll fix the sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Thanks, I mean. Suppose I talk it over with Mother and get her suggestions. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, now next is entertainment. We want to show Steve a good time, but... Well, we don't know too much about what he likes. <laughs> the best thing I know for breaking the ice and getting people acquainted is some good mixer games. Oh, good. Then this party can just be an informal, get acquainted sort of party, and we'll have games for entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are still many details to be planned, but the basic things are settled. <laughs> Will you follow my orders to the letter? Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. You know what would happen these days if you said that to a lady? Yeah. You know, first of all, if you said, will you follow my, uh, my orders to the letter, they'd say no. No. You know what I mean? And then if you said, good girl, they'd look at you and then slap you. You know what I mean? If you're lucky, they'd slap you. No, that's, yeah, right. Or else they would perform uh, minor surgery, you know, uh, urological, uh, horrible urological surgical procedure. You're dismembered. All right, what do you got here? I can tell you have something. You're getting all excited. You're making that creepy noise you make. No. You're excited? Not really, no. All right, no. No. All right. I thought there was a critic that said this was one of the best East Kids movies on account of Bela Lugosi's in it. Mm. And there you was know, another critic that said at 64 minutes running time, it's about an hour too long. You know, though, I like there was a scene back a ways where, where they're the ones feeling, you know, the, uh, and Bella's right here and he doesn't know it and he's like, well, like this and he feels yeah, everything. Uh, uh, that's one of his buddies and stuff. And of course, that, I like that's funny. That's comedy oh, gold. That's comedy. Let's go see the conclusion. Go. Get. 
All right, man, we ain't waiting any longer. said about the monster, you can only scam with two things, silver bullets and blessed iron. Well, we ain't got neither, so there's only one thing we can do, and that's to get tough. Plenty tough, see? What do we do with the fellas back home when they step out of line? Knock them out! Exactly. That's what we're gonna do with that vulture and the little termite that hangs out with him. Get it? Sight! Right. It'd be just like the subway if they had lights down here. I wish the train had come through. Stay away, could you? The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Who? Who are you? You don't remember me. But 20 years ago in this very house, I was a living being. I had flesh on my bones. Blood flowed through my veins. But you, you, you scared the health out of me. I was never in this house until tonight. You have made a mistake. It is you who has made a mistake, my friend. For years, you have wantonly taken the lives of millions. So, I am going to take yours. <laughs> no! No! Stay away! Stay away! That's good and tight. Hey, Mosha, let him have it. What are you, kidding? Leave him for the cops. Oh, let me punch his skin. Stay up to there, huh? You heard me the first time. Hey, what do you say we pick up Pee-wee and get out of this furnished morgue? Hey, maybe there's a reward for this guy. Boy, if there is, my mother won't have to take it. No more washing. Why not? I'll go out and buy one of the sporty roses and go around and collect it for him. Hold this for me, Chauncey. Hiya, fellas. Pee-wee! Yeah. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Say, what happened to you guys? What happened to us, he wants to know. You've been running around the house like guy walking asleep, and we've been chasing after you. Yeah? Last thing I remember is that guy giving me a pill, and then I went to sleep. I sure had some funny dreams, though. I'll play that across the board. Well, can you get up? Sure I can. <laughs> hey, fellas, do something to scare me, will you? I got the heat cuts. Uh-oh. We're still friends, ain't we? This way. All right, you men surround the house. When you hear a shot, break in wherever you are. Oh, I'm going in the front door. Let's go, boy. Let's get it. Come on.
Are you all right? I certainly am all right. You boys can thank your lucky stars we got here in time. Yeah, why? That that man's a monster. Yeah, nearsighted, bud. You listen to me, I'll tell you the whole story. We was all going to town scene. We decided to take a shortcut to a cemetery when some drunk takes a pot shot at P. Wynn clips him. So we brought him up here to get him all fixed up. Look, first we thought this was a haunted house, but it's not. And if it is, he ain't haunting it because we thought he was a monster too. But like I said, he's not. Just a magician. And a very good one too. Just come up here to practice some new routines. This guy here is his assistant, the best in the country. What about that head on the plate? Oh, just that's the old, uh, the old salami trick. You know, where the girl carries the guy's head in the tray? Well, I was the guy. That's Linda. Slip me to the skylight and I'll be all set. Okay. No for dangers. Ah, that's not. Give me that light. You keep that vulture's attention out here. Yeah, wrap our dog. Get yeah. I sure had us fooled there for a while, Van Gross, or whatever your name is. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. You fool. Hey, let's go figure out how we're going to spend that money. Hey, 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 hey. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for peace de resistance, Nardo's famous disappearing cabinet. Good magic deserves lovely assistance. Will you help me, please? Why, yeah. Why don't you forget that's my girlfriend. All right, all right. No harm. She just disappears. Going to bring her back? I, hope. I think wow. that's probably the easiest trick I ever seen. I think I can do it. You can. I certainly can. Not only will I find a young lady, but when I do, we'll oscillate. Now why don't you try it? I will. Just give me five seconds and I'll have her. Oh, delighted. What talent. I got her, Professor. Oh, have I got her!
Okay. All right. There were like 700 people in the house by the end of the movie. Now, we're if you want to send us stuff, we'd really like to have the stuff. We'll read your letters on the air. We'll challenge the other listeners, viewers, whatever. It's all good. So if you want to send us stuff, send it to Nethedet, care of Minu 32, 1391 North Road, Green Bay. Where? Yeah. Green Bay. Where? Yeah. 54313. Or you may email Nethedet at new.rr.com. That's nethedead at new.rr.com. Otherwise, friends, we'd like to have you join us next week because we have the, uh, what is it, Swamp of the Lost Monsters? Yes. Swamp of the Lost Monsters, everybody. Oh, so join us for that. memorable. It is. It's going to be good. It's red. It's scary. It's Mexican horror flick, but it's got some really cool horse stuff Horse in it. dancing. Oh, it's Horse nice. dancing. It's nice. Join us next week. We love you. Need you. Thank you. Good night. Thanks for watching Ned the Dead and Doc Moreau. Remember to check out their stuff at nedthedead.com.